who's following developments for us in the capital of the Central African Republic, that's Bongi. Clement, what more do we know this hour about this resignation? Well, this resignation was long overdue and many rumors were circulating. Since the re-election of President Faustin Conchtroidera for a second term at the beginning of the year and is uh, sworn in on March 30th, it is a classic procedure after the re-election of the president and the renewal of the National Assembly here. A few hours ago, PM Firman Grebada handed in his resignation as well as that of his government uh, to, the head, uh, to the head of state. The prime minister embodied the figure of the counteroffensive against the rebel coalition which faces uh, the National Army and the Allies at the moment. For the moment, we, we do not know uh, yet if um, the Prime Minister is renewed or not, or what positions will be assigned to whom in the ministers. Now, Clement, the, the other question, of course, is where this leaves this restive pocket of Africa and where we go from here. Well, one thing is certain, this government will have to face very important security and humanitarian challenges since the fighting continues in the region and more than two million Central Africans are food insecure. Tensions are still present on the ground between government forces and, and the rebel coalition. President Touadera yesterday announced the launch after consultation of a major Republican dialogue, which will continue over the next few months in the country in an attempt to resolve the major issues still pending. Uh, when he was sworn in in office, the president declared, my wish is that there will no longer be any armed, armed group active on the national territory. He also uh, promised to fight against impunity. Okay, Clément Diroma, our correspondent there in the capital of the Central African Republic.